Good morning, friends, or afternoon, or middle of the night because you procrastinated even longer than you should have, and now it's like keeping you up at night because you have to get something like tomorrow. So I, like you, am a fellow procrastinator. We waited too long to order online in our comfy jammies, getting Black Friday deals, waiting for them to be delivered to us by a patient FedEx or UPS driver, and we could save it from the porch pirates, and we could wrap it with love and care, and then deliver it with holly jolly Christmas spirit. Okay, we waited too long for that. So now it is go time, and we have to get creative because as procrastinators do, we have to come up with something out of nowhere and make it seem like that's what we planned all along. And by the end of this video, I will have the person, whoever you're gifting to, be like, wow, that was such a thoughtful, gift you really thought about me i feel so special thank you so much for not getting me the iphone 14 like everyone else wanted to do and you're gonna be like you're welcome this is going to be like a speed review by the way because i have to leave in like 30 minutes to go to a contracts class so this is just like a jumping off point for you to get creative and think about the people on your list and think i like that but i'm gonna change out this for that and this for that for that person and you're gonna show up to your white elephant or your gift exchange or whatever it is with the most thoughtful creative gifts for each person on your list so this first round is for the skincare lover in your life you are going to give them the gift of self-care baby so the first thing you're gonna pick up is the kate somerville exfoliate this is like an in shower intensive exfoliating treatment but it's you use it in the shower so it's a physical exfoliation and chemical so you're gonna they're gonna put just like a little bit in between their fingers rub it around that's gonna be your physical exfoliation it's got little like bits of something that exfoliates the skin physically and then they're gonna leave it on the skin while they're in their shower doing their thing and it's going to exfoliate their skin chemically so it's like a two-in-one it's while you're in the shower and warm and cozy amazing they're going to get out of the shower and they're going to use the facial razor that you so thoughtfully picked up for them this is from sephora it's metal but you could get also like the tinkle razors from like sally beauty supply or whatever this one is i just love this one because i just got it for myself sorry it's like i don't know if that's picking it up i just got it for myself during the sale and it's like weighty, it has a little ergonomic little finger hold, it's got a plastic cover. But it comes with three uh, refill blades, and then it comes in its own little like box. This is a great razor, it's way better than the Tinkle razors, but if an $18 facial razor is out of your budget, get the Tinkle razors, they do the same thing. Then they're going to hydrate their skin, their freshly exfoliated shaved baby smooth skin you're gonna hydrate it with the summer fridays jet lag mask this you could put all over and leave on for like 10 minutes or you can leave it on overnight as an overnight mask some people use it as a moisturizer some people use it as a makeup primer i've never done either of those applications i've done the overnight mask and i've done it as like a, a temporary like leave on mask this is amazing but if both or either of those are out of your price point go to ulta ask them like what they would recommend to you like in that's comparable there's plenty of drugstore skincare options that are just as good as high-end stuff and you don't have to break the bank. You could get them more for less money, like, so they could try several different things instead of just a couple things. And then they're going to seal it all in with the Summer Fridays. This is the Lip Butter Balm, but this is the original, but I think they have a couple different, like, flavors or scents or whatever you would call a lip product. Flavor. I'm gonna go with flavor. Like, I would love that. But also, if someone gave me like drugstore options of all those things, just so I had like a little routine that I didn't have to think about, I didn't have to go get, I would love that. So moving on to someone who is really into hair care, they like really want to improve the condition of their hair or they just like love their hair. So this is the Wet Brush Pro. Sorry, it has like my hair in it. I won't hold it too close. But this is the paddle brush and, it, and it's the Pro Shine. Maybe it's just, yeah, Pro Shine Enhancer is what this brush is. I got it for like $8 at Target. It was on sale. I hate the lime green, but I didn't see the, the periwinkle blue color until after I bought this for some reason. Maybe I just didn't look very hard. But yeah, I hate the lime green. I wish it was like all black or something, but you know, you can't, can't win them all. Um, so this is also like my scrunchie holder, which is my next option, is a like satin or silk hair scrunchie so that they can like put their hair up for workouts put it up for skincare and it's not gonna like pull or like snag or you know make their hair frizzy when they like take it out and with a hair scrunchie i wouldn't really i wouldn't personally splurge on like the slip 
hair scrunchies because they are elastic they will stretch out and you just i don't know i feel like this this is the kitsch brand it came with a pack of five of these and they have all black this is like a little tan leopard color but it was a five pack for eight dollars and they're already stretching out and i just really don't see like the elastic in the slip ones being better to warrant the price difference and if it's something that's going to stretch out and get ruined anyways i would just go for a more affordable option personally so i love that so in the same vein of a satin scrunchie you could get them a satin or silk pillowcase the silk pillowcase i would maybe splurge on but they are a splurge on those is like really expensive they're like let me see slip brand is like 89 dollars for a standard size or 110 dollars for one king size pillowcase that's silk i'm pretty sure i have a satin kit um kit pack of two that i got from bed bath and beyond at like their i don't know their grab and go section that was maybe 17 dollars for two of them so i think either way as long as you're just like i'm caring about your skincare because it is also better for your face to lay on like satin or silk than like cotton it's very like abrasive for your skin so it's like a two-in-one it's good for skincare and hair care but I think whatever's in your price point, if you like want to give a luxury item, then I would go with the slip. But if you're just like, I just want to get like several things and make it doable, then just get satin. Moving on to products, the Amica scalp, let's see, scalp cleansing oil. It's like $12 for the mini one or $27 for the like full size one. And that is like, it has a pointed tip and you just like squeeze it and run it through your hair, like in sections, flip your hair upside down rub it in like that and you can just leave it for like 10 minutes i leave it on for like two hours but when you wash it out it like makes a little lather and then it rinses out like it is an oil cleansing oil but it rinses out really well um and then it just like conditions your scalp and feels amazing and then you can move on with your shampoo conditioner and then two like reparative treatments like hair treatments i would either go with the olaplex number three hair perfecter i kind of feel like 30 dollars is the three ounces which is what I get, the 3.3 ounces. That one's like a solid size. They're gonna get a ton of uses out of that. So even if you just got them that, like that's a great gift. K18 is like a relatively new reparative treatment. And, but I think the only thing is I think you have to kind of get the full size of that, which is $75. But the mini size is like one, one ounce. I don't even think that would coat my hair one time to try the treatment out. Like, so. For that one, I would do it as a splurge option to, and do the $75. And then like a tool, a hair tool is a bioionic, what's it called? Long barrel curling iron, one inch. That is what my, why did I do the clipping? That's what my stylist used to curl my hair. That's what I use, um, this is like day three hair, but I mean, it's still curled day three. I did do like little touch-ups on the top end, but it still had like a curly wave before I did this today. And before this, I was using a hot tools one inch iron and I would like not even get done curling one side and the bottom layers would already be like flat. So anyways, this is a really nice iron. It is really expensive. It's $149. I bet you Sephora sells these. Ulta definitely does. That's where I got mine. But yeah, that's for if you're looking for like a super special gift for someone. That is really nice. Like they will love you forever. By the way, this might be obvious at this point, but this is mostly for girls or like guys who like self-care and hair care and nail care and body care and stuff like that. Just pointing it out in case you think I'm going to get to the guy section. I'm not. The next on our list is for someone on your list who either likes doing their nails right now or wants to get into doing their own nails. Like they want to cut back on going to the salon or they just want to master the at-home manicure. Um, these little picks will be a good jumping off point for them. So first of all is definitely a nail brush, cuticle brush. I don't know what you call this. I've had this since like literally high school, which is like kind of sus. It looks disgusting, but I haven't gotten a bacterial infection yet. So fingers crossed. And then also a cuticle oil. This one is C and D. This is their solar oil, cuticle oil. This is the smallest size at 0.25 ounces. And for a cuticle oil, like that's gigantic, but they do also have a pen. So if you're getting a gift for like a guy or a gal on the go, you could get them the pen version. So they just click up a little oil, swipe it on like while they're at their desk or something. And then they can just like rub it in. I'm actually going to do that right now. So anyways, now that I'm awkwardly rubbing in cuticle oil, talking through this video, <laughs> the next option for this sort of like gift set would be a crystal nail file. I was gifted one of these a couple years ago by... I think my dad's wife got it for me. I actually love it. Like it feels so luxe to like file your nails with a crystal file. The grit is really fine. So it doesn't leave like a ragged edge. It's just a really nice like 
luxe version of a nail file. After you've like soaked your nails, you've oiled your nails, just seal it all in with a good lotion. The gloves in a bottle, I just recently heard about from, what's her name, Susan? Is it Susan Yara? Am I making that up? She does the mixed makeup channel, but she recommended gloves in a bottle from a recommendation from a dermatologist. So <laughs> like little inception for you there, but um, she said it's kind of like a, like a, a coating for your hands, which is like kind of exactly what you want. So it doesn't feel like moisturizing and hydrating. However, I will just let you in on a hot tip that moisturizer doesn't actually moisturize your skin. It seals in the moisture that you get like from the shower, from washing your hands, from like soaking in a bathtub. Moisturizer just seals in moisture. It doesn't add moisture to your skin. Like get a couple of things like that. Get a couple of colors of like neutrals, like pinks or a clear, like you could get a base coat and a top coat. Okay, so moving on to body stuff, if you have a friend who just loves a little self-care moment, they don't want to do their skincare, they don't want to do their own nails, but they have to take care of their own skin, right? So we are going to start them off with a luxe body wash. This one, my favorite, is the Necessaire body wash in the scent Sandalwood. Give them something nice to lather with, and then you're going to get them exfoliating gloves. This is my preferred method to exfoliate because I do, I like the dry brushing, but I feel like it doesn't really like get in there for me. The exfoliating gloves, though, are nice because you just like, Put them on your hands and then put your nice little body wash on there, rub them together, and then scrub your entire body like you will feel like a new person. I mean, whoever you're gifting this for is going to feel like a new person. So that's a good physical exfoliating moment. If your friend or relative or whoever you're gifting for is into like sciencey, like if they're into skincare but haven't delved into like body care all that much, they're going to love these. These are the Dennis Gross are these alpha beta exfoliating body treatment i can't remember is this two peel pads it's been a while since i've used these but yeah no it's just one so it's one little packet well the pack comes with eight and i think they have a version that has two so you can get them like just a little sample to try um but it's like a big towel exfoliating towel chemical exfoliation it uses obviously alpha and beta hydroxy acids. I wouldn't use them in the same routine because you have to use these on dry skin. So I would do the exfoliating mitts like maybe the day before and then go in with these before your shower the next day. So you have like all the dead skin is off from the mitts and then you're gonna go in and get into the deeper layers of your newly exposed skin, you know? It's just gonna do the same thing that a chemical exfoliant will do on your face, but on your body. So these are a bit more intense than anything you would use on your face, so do not use these on your face. But they are really good. They get a little tingly, a little spicy, and then you hop in the shower and it kind of like cools it all down and you can move on with your life. But those are good. That would be like a really good, again, luxury. They are not cheap, but they are good. And then seal in all that freshly exposed, freshly exfoliated skin with a little um, hydration. I love baths. I do not like putting moisturizer on when I get out of a shower. So to kill two birds with one stone, I love the Lush Butterball Bath Bombs. Those are my favorite. I've tried all the sparkly ones, all the like crazy confetti ones. No, the Butterball is the best because it's just, it's utilitarian for me. Okay. But it smells good. It leaves me feeling like so moisturized. Another option is the Dr. Teal's bath oil. Again, if they like to bath, you just drop in a couple like squirts of the bath oil and then if they are into body lotions which i am not but if they are the versed retinol body lotion is a good one especially going into winter because it has the retinol and you're not going to be exposed to a lot of sun so the retinol lotion for the winter is a good option it's going to seal in all their hydration from the shower and it's also going to do what retinol does which is like exfoliate the skin by turning over the cells faster and it's just going to help like fine lines and wrinkles any crepiness in the skin like retinol is your best friend especially in the winter so that wraps up a little body care situation for them so again mix and match should i stop saying that every after every category mix and match it and cater to that person we get it okay moving on okay so this next one is for like an elevated like drinking experience which is a bit out of my wheelhouse because i don't drink very often but a couple things i saw while i was like scouring the interwebs the first one is the wine chilling wand so if you live near a williams sonoma retailer that's where these ones are sold but you just like fill up a wine glass and then you have these things like in the i didn't read the description i don't know if they go in the freezer or the fridge but it's just like these like spoons that you drop into your wine glass that are cold and it chills your wine so you don't have like ice and you know whatever contaminants come from your water that's like muddling the taste of your wine i don't really know i just think that's like 
what the wine drinkers like have to say about ice in your wine. So if you have someone who loves wine but loves like a chilled wine, that would be a really good option. And then you could pair it with like a nice bottle of wine that you think they might like. And then another one that I think is really fun is a champagne saber, which I feel like is so dangerous and doesn't, don't like glass shards get into the champagne bottle when you do this? I don't know. But if you have someone who like likes to party and likes the idea of like sabering their champagne, then William Sonoma also has a champagne saber. And the one I'm recommending, it has a gold look, we'll say, and it has like a black stamp. So it looks really cool. So if they have like a bar cart or like an actual bar section in their home, like that would be just something really cool to display and also to use like once in a blue moon. I don't know how often people like savor their champagne, but it would be like a fun and also like pretty aesthetic thing to have in their home. Okay, so this next section is for coffee or tea lovers. I am both. I'm just gonna start this off by saying if someone you know likes tea, likes coffee, do not buy them a coffee mug. Do, do not do that. They already have their favorite mug. Unless, okay, here's the one scenario in which I will allow you to buy someone a coffee mug. Okay, two scenarios. If they are like my stepmother who loves a good coffee mug, she has a cabinet, full-size cabinet, chock full of mugs. She has a different mug for every day, a different mug for every season, like a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday. She has a mug for that, okay? If it's that type of person, maybe acceptable. The only other type of person that you are allowed to buy a mug for <laughs> is like maybe a freshman in college who's just getting their sea legs when it comes to their caffeine addiction. Then maybe you can buy them a mug. Other than that, I have like five mugs. I don't need any more mugs. I got three mugs this year and I've given them all away. Do not put the burden of cluttering their life with a mug. They have the one they like and that's the one they will stick with. Don't do that. Instead, you can buy them a bag of coffee from like your favorite coffee shop or one that you think that they will like. Well, preferably one that you think they will like, but a bag of coffee, you could get them like little sneaky snacks to go with the coffee. So like a chocolate bar that will pair well with the flavorings of the coffee. Uh, like a hazelnut coffee, hazelnut and coffee go really well together. So just think of like what flavors people put in their coffee and like that's the type of like snack that you can pair with whatever coffee you're getting. Oh, another thing that would go good with that, oh well, and tea, would be like a mug warmer. There is an ember mug, but then we're getting into the mug territory and not everyone wants to like store a mug. But it is really cool because you can set like the temperature of whatever beverage that you want on your phone and then it like automatically adjusts. Like you can watch it on your phone, like drop in temperature or go up in temperature as it's like adjusting in the mug. So it is really cool, but since we're not getting people mugs, unless they like ask for an ember mug, they can get them the ember mug because clearly they have space for it, they have a desire for it. But if you just want to get them the gift of a warm beverage, then get them a mug warmer. It's like a plate. So just like the Ember mug has the plate anyways, so you might as well just get them a plate that's a mug warmer. The thing with a mug warmer is you can mug, you, you can mug, you can warm more than just your coffee. Like you can put a bowl on the mug warmer and keep your soup warm while you're like working from your desk or put a candle on it and then you have the scent from it without like the flame or whatever. So it's more, there's more like applications I feel like to a mug warmer. If they really like tea, you could get them like a matcha, but only if they like matcha, because I feel like with matcha, it's a very strong flavor. So if they don't like it, then they're not gonna get any use out of your gift. And matcha is like relatively expensive when it comes to tea. So make sure they like it before you go that route. But if you do go that route, you could get them like a whisk, if they don't already have one, like um, a bamboo whisk, like a traditional whisk, or like a hand frother whisk. That's what I mix my matcha. I use that hand frother for literally everything. And then if they're somewhere near you that has like a selection of loose leaf tea, you can make them like a custom blend of tea that you think they'll like, like based on what you already know that they like for tea. If they like green tea, black tea, whatever, get that base. And then you could add in like a fruit, like a hibiscus or I don't know, a chamomile or I don't, I'm not really like a tea connoisseur, so I don't really know, but just stick with like one or two things that you think would go well together and that you think whoever you're gifting it for will like. And then a few other like bits and bobs you could add in with the tea. It could be like a little jar of local honey. You could do um, like a tea infuser, something they can put their loose leaf tea into to steep their tea in their hot water. You could get like Manuka honey, especially for the winter and like the immune boosting benefits of Manuka honey. They sell it at Whole Foods. 
Um, you could get them a micro zester because then they could zest in like fresh lemon, fresh ginger, fresh, I don't know what else people put fresh in their tea. And then they could also use the micro zester for like a hundred other things. Like, ooh, if, okay. <laughs> Okay, that was it for tea, but since I just said micro zester and I'm thinking of like like gift baskets, if they like baking or they're getting into baking, you could get them. This is specifically for a pumpkin pie is where I'm going, just so you know. So <laughs> micro zester and you could get them a jar of like nutmegs, like whole nutmegs so they can zest in fresh nutmeg into their pumpkin pie. Then for the pie, you're going to get them the silicone um, crust shield so that instead of putting aluminum foil, like wasting all that aluminum foil. If you do the silicone shield, you use that thing a hundred times and you don't have to like cut it off and mold it around your thing. Like you just like plop it on and take it off and toss it in the dishwasher or toss it in the sink to soak or whatever. You have n fresh nutmegs, you have a little micro zester and you have a pie crust shield. How cute. They can get their little pumpkin pie on with everything that you just gave them to elevate their pie game. Okay, last section, people. We are getting there. Housewares. This is this is kind of like the junk drawer of this list, okay? Like, there's just, there's a lot going on here. So, first on the list is the Times Balsam for Candle. It's the best. I will request that in the middle of July. I love it. I would burn it 24-7 if I could. It is what's burning right there. It's like a luxury, like, Christmas scent. It smells like you're walking through... A Hallmark movie like it is so good and it doesn't smell like gross or overly like overly anything it just like you walk in and you know it's a time spells them for candle like so I'm in real estate as my full-time job and I can immediately smell when somebody has like even when they just have it open in their house I'm like yeah so good next is the Bed Bath & Beyond Twisted Peppermint pretty much anything Twisted Peppermint there it is so good it's the best winter scent I love the hand soap. What else did I get? Oh, I got the hand sanitizer. So I had the Sol de Janeiro bum bum scented hand sanitizer in my car like all summer and I think like all last winter as well. But then I saw this scent. They had the twisted peppermint scented. Sorry, I have like a fuzz. They have the twisted peppermint scented hand sanitizer. Immediately bought. It is so good. I love just like spraying it. Even if I haven't touched anything sketchy, I just love spraying it. Mm, it's like, oh, it's so good. It smells so good. I would warn you, do not get the body lotion and put it on like at night after a hot shower because it is like icy hot without the hot. It is, I was thinking it was just going to smell nice. No, it is, it feels like peppermint is all over your body, okay? That was a mistake. But anything else, like probably the body wash would be okay. I don't think I've ever tried body wash in that scent, but the body lotion mm, was a mistake. Maybe as a hand cream it would be nice, but I was hypothermic when I did that. Not really. Okay, so next is the Joshua Weisman cookbook. I love Joshua Weisman. He's hilarious. Yeah, so entertaining. Like, I don't even like cooking. I just like watching his videos. I mean, I do like kind of like cooking, but I mostly just like watching his videos. And everything I've tried, like I've tried the, oh, what is it? Levon Bakery cookies. I, at everyone who has ever tried them, is like, these are so good. And another cookbook that I would personally love and I just think is like so silly is the Snoop Dogg cookbook. I think it's like from cook, from crook to cook or something, <laughs> which is just hilarious. And I love anything Snoop Dogg. So I would personally love this. And an excellent white elephant gift, if I do say so myself, would be the Snoop Dogg cookbook mixed with his 19 crimes wine. Like I would love to receive that as an actual gift or as a white elephant. Like that would be just like so silly and also amazing. So a couple pairings you could do with the cookbooks. I mean, it depends on what kind of cookbook it is. Also based on like what the person is looking for. If they're like really into cooking, then like one of these would be good. If they're getting really into baking, then get them a baking, a baking book. A, is it still called a cookbook? If it's for baking? Anyways, you could get them a, if it's baking, you could pair it with a, like a pastry knife, a food scale, like I mentioned the pie crust guard earlier. What else do you need for baking? You could get them like a metal cake tester so they don't have to use a toothpick every time and throw it away. Um, what else? That's kind of all I can think of. I'm not really like much of a baker yet. I'm trying. Um, but then if either of those two cookbooks, the Stoop Dog or the Joshua Weissman were like heavy on proteins, you could get them like 
a meat thermometer. You could get them like a mallet. You just have to like scroll through, scroll through. Am I a child? You could flip through the physical book pages. It is not on the internet. They probably do have ebooks. Anyways, that's besides the point. Um, you can flip through the books and just see like, see what's in there, see what kind of utensils they're using in the cookbooks and maybe get them like something that you think they will um, get use out of while also getting use out of the cookbooks. So this next one is if they have a KitchenAid, if you know that they have the KitchenAid mixer, you could get them, they have a hundred different attachments now. So you could get them a like a fancier bowl that comes with it instead of like the metal one that comes with it. You could get them a glass bowl. You could get them, I think they have like an ice cream maker situation, maybe attachment. They have like shaved ice. They have a juicer. They have like a, a grain mill. They have a pasta attachment, a meat grinder attachment. So there's a hundred options on the KitchenAid mixer that, I mean, you could really like choose your own adventure. And the one that I really want is only like 30 bucks. It's a flex edge beater. So it's the paddle attachment that has a silicone edge and it scrapes the bowl as it's mixing. So you don't have to go in there and scrape down the sides of the bowl. So there's something for everyone. You could also give them like a little like side piece to go with the attachment. Like if you got them the meat grinder, you could get them a really nice cut of meat that well, not a cut of meat, I guess, because that kind of would defeat the purpose of like grinding it. You wouldn't want like a, a steak and then grind that. But you could get them some sort of like high quality, some kind of meat that <laughs> that they would want to grind. You could get them like a mallet. You could get them a nice knife to cut up the meat into smaller pieces to fit into the grinder. With a pasta maker, you could get them, mm, I don't know, is a nice bag of flour? Is that a thing? You could get them a nice olive oil to go with their pasta meal. You can just come up with like several different options with those. So moving on, I love the Zweiling Zw vacuum sealer. Again, I don't love it because I don't have it, but I love the idea of it because vacuum sealers are like single use little plastic bags that you can put like meat or soups or whatever, like literally anything you want to freeze for long-term storage, you put it in a vacuum sealer bag and then you like toss it in the freezer, wait for the apocalypse, and you're like golden. However, though those just seem like very wasteful to me. That starter set, it's like 80 bucks and it comes with containers and a couple bags that are all reusable. Okay, so last thing on the list, which is my favorite, which I really should have started with this because it's my favorite, but it's my friend's business. She is the crafts that bind. I don't know if you could see that, but she does luxury paper flowers. Like, are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? We're still not kidding. It's so good. She's just so good. Like those are all made by hand out of crepe paper. Like it's high quality paper. She makes them by hand. It is like true art. Like you look at them, like you cannot tell me that's not a real orchid, okay? You cannot tell me that's not a real poinsettia. Uh-uh. Okay? Poinsettias last like a week. Orchids last like a while but they still don't last as long as a paper flower orchid. And she like cures them with like a UV spray so you can have them like sitting in a windowsill and they're not gonna fade over time. You can have a poinsettia that's gonna last you 100 years instead of two weeks. And poinsettias are expensive. So you pay a one-time fee to get a beautiful poinsettia that you're gonna love because everyone loves poinsettias and like Christmas. So the only thing with that is you gotta get on it. You gotta order it fast. And I just gave you her Instagram. So let me just give it to you one more time. The crafts that bind. Get, let me get out of the way. That's it. That is her site. Oops. Don't, don't look at them. That's what it looks like, okay? Go follow her. Go DM her. Place your order. She will get Johnny on it. Like, she's really fast at making them because I'll, I'll, like, talk to her and she's like, yeah, I just got an order. And, like, a day or two later, she's like, yeah, I'm delivering this order. And I'm like, damn, like, that's fast. That would be perfect for someone who loves pretty things, loves flowers, loves art. Like that is like the best of all worlds in one gift. And they're gonna like think of you every time they see it. They're gonna have it forever. So I hope this gave you some inspiration, some ideas, and some confidence to absolutely crush your last minute shopping trip. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.